And in that privilege, attorney-client privilege, it's, um, it's meant to protect communications uh, between an attorney and, and, and the client and to, and to protect disclosure uh, of those discussions and information um, to the government. And uh, in, in making use of attorney-client privilege um, is often very important in the context of these internal reviews. Uh, and when you do interviews, when you gather information, when there's a back and forth about what's the nature of the information, um, it, it's important to have the, that type of internal review uh, conducted under the direction of either internal or external counsel because it preserves privilege for that mm -hmm. information that's generated. At the end of the day, as I mentioned before, you may decide, well, much of this information I'm going to release to the government anyway, but that's a conscious decision you're going to make after reviewing all the facts. Um, you may decide that certain information is not important, certain communications, certain emails are not important, um, and I don't want to release those to the government. Um, but there are other things that need to be released to the government as part of a, uh, as part of a voluntary disclosure.